All right, everybody. So let's get this exercise started. So in step number three, we will be completing the missing data on the transaction sheet. So let me start with 3i which is the industry. Let's take a look at the spreadsheet, specifically the transaction sheet. And in it, you'll see that there are some columns of data that are missing information. So in order for us to get there, we need to find out what industry does each one of these clients or customers belongs, belongs to. And to do so, we can simply reference the table that is called customer. So if we were to look for the customer, then we would be able to identify which industry they belong to. Again, we're going to be using VLOOKUP. We're not going to be doing this manually for over a thousand transactions. So let's get going on this then. All right. So let's do a VLOOKUP. And as I explained before, every function um, has an, a, a quick example in Google Sheets and also in Excel, depending on which software you're using, it, it takes a little. It's a little different to get to the explanation. But in Google Sheets, all your, all you have to do is open the parentheses, and immediately, it's going to show you an example of what are the parameters that each function wants. In this case, the VLOOKUP wants to get a search key, a range, an index, and you want to let the software know whether your um, index. Um, or your column number one is, is sorted. So what is VLOOKUP? It's really just a vertical lookup function that searches down the first column of a given range for a key and returns the value of a specified cell in the row that it was found. In essence, I want to look for a search key. In this case, I want to look for cancer sticks within a range contained in this customer table, right? And once I find the customer name, I want to return or bring back the value contain in my industry column. So how do we do that? Well, we just use the VLOOKUP function. So the very first thing that we have to provide is a search key. Where is that search key? What are we looking for? We're looking for a key that is contained in our B column, specifically B2. So I'm going to use the name contained on that B2 column and search in the range. And that range can be somewhere else. In this case, it happened to be in a different sheet, right? So it's going to look for this value within a table or a range that starts in A4 all the way to B36. Notice that I also included, included the header. Uh, unless the header name repeats itself, then I, it is a, a better practice for me or best practice is to actually include the header name so that I can always go all the way to the top. All right. So what is the next thing? The next thing says... Where is the index, right? Or where is the value that you want to return? If you were to look at how many columns or count the number of columns within that range, in this case, I have one, two columns. In which column is the value you want return contained? Well, in this case, it is on the second column, right? It's on the industry column. Notice that I didn't say a B or gave it an address. I just counted the number of columns from left to right. And number two would mean that the second column from left to right contains the value that you want to display in your cell. Finally, I need to tell Google Sheets that this table is not sorted, uh, specifically that the table does not contain a sorted index, meaning the first column is not sorted. If it was sorted and we put true, then if it didn't find the right matching customer, it would give you the value of the next line. Um, in this case, this is not sorted. We want it to say false. Uh, and that if it doesn't find the value, then it's not going to give you anything. Um, and in this case, we did find that Cancer Sticks does not have, I mean, ha belongs to the agriculture um, industry. Now, I want to copy this down. And as mentioned before, whenever we copy down anything that references a range or an address that should not be moving, right? If I move here down, uh, I want this search key to move down to B3, but I don't want the general information to be moved. Let's 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 find out what what I mean by that. I don't want this to start from B um, B5 anymore. 
uh, I want it to stay the same. So what I'm going to do instead of doing the copy pasting, I'm just going to go back here and then I'm going to use F4 and that's going to toggle my anchors again to make sure that I am not changing the range. Uh, so when I toggle that F4, I want to make sure that both the row and the column stay fixed. And for more information on what this means, um, I, I'm creating a different video for anchoring values. So let's just make sure that our range is properly anchored. Now I can copy and paste to the rest of the spreadsheet, right? And that's it. This is requirement number 3A.